pressure can be quite challenging to deal with, but today we will explore how Stoicism can help us cultivate a mindset that can withstand it when it inevitably arises. On one hand, a certain amount of pressure is necessary to prevent us from becoming stagnant and wasting away in our comfort zones. On the other hand, if we experience an excessive amount of pressure, there is a risk that we may crumble, fail, or even avoid it altogether. Many of us have probably come across the cliché phrase, pressure turns coal into diamonds, that is often thrown around on the internet. While there is some truth to this saying, I find Viktor Frankl's perspective on tension to be much more practical. He stated, what man actually needs is not a tensionless state, but rather the striving and struggling for a worthwhile goal, a freely chosen task. What he needs is not the discharge of tension at any cost, but the call of a potential meaning waiting to be fulfilled by him. An increasing number of individuals are in search of that release of stress that Frankel mentions. Although a life without tension and pressure may seem pleasant temporarily, it is the pressure that pushes us to evolve and progress. It is through expanding our comfort zone and gaining confidence in unfamiliar circumstances that we learn to rely on ourselves. Ultimately, it is tension that propels us towards our true potential. To bolster our resilience and unwavering determination in the face of pressure, we can turn to the wisdom of Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus. I have four rules to share with you that can assist in reshaping our perspective of the world, enabling us to remain resilient even when faced with pressure. Rule number one, practice Amor Fati, the love of fate. Practicing Amor Fati, the love of fate, may appear simple, but in reality, it can be quite challenging. To truly love fate, we must keep three important things in mind. One, Embrace acceptance. Instead of resisting, we should be willing to accept everything that happens around us. 2. Embrace change. Understand that every change, whether favorable or not, is simply a natural part of our ever-evolving universe. The universe itself is neither good nor bad. 3. Embrace the power of change. Recognize that without change, we wouldn't exist. It was through change that planets formed from gas clouds, complex life emerged from simpler forms, and ultimately, change has allowed us to think and feel. In the grand scheme of things, we can learn to embrace the challenges that fate presents to us. After all, these challenges are neither inherently good nor bad. They are simply obstacles that we must face. They serve as opportunities for personal and collective growth. One of the greatest advantages of embracing Amor Fati is how it eradicates the victim mindset. When faced with an unfavorable situation, a victim tends to ask themselves, why is it always me? However, with Amor Fati, we approach the situation with a different perspective. Life is constantly changing. This is just another change, and it is not a personal attack on me. Rule number two, Embrace obstacles as opportunities. The concept of embracing obstacles as advocated by the Stoics is perhaps best exemplified by the Stoic Emperor of Rome. Marcus Aurelius in his renowned journal called Meditations penned the following thoughts. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. When we shift our mindset to view obstacles as opportunities for growth, we open ourselves up to a whole new world of possibilities. Instead of seeing challenges as burdens that hold us back, we see them as stepping stones towards personal development and self-improvement. Moreover, this perspective helps us to eliminate the negative psychological effects that obstacles can have on our inner peace. Instead of feeling defeated or discouraged, we develop a sense of resilience and determination. We understand that setbacks are not permanent, but rather temporary roadblocks that can be overcome with perseverance and a positive mindset. Real-world applications of this rule. By adopting the mindset of the obstacle is the way, we can approach these situations with a different perspective. Instead of dwelling on the negative aspects, 
we can focus on the opportunities for personal and professional development that these challenges present. For example, not getting a promotion can be seen as a chance to evaluate our skills and abilities at work. We can take this setback as motivation to enhance our skills, seek additional training or education and reassess our career goals. By doing so, we can turn this obstacle into an opportunity for growth and advancement in our professional life. Similarly, experiencing a failed relationship can be viewed as an opportunity for self-reflection and personal growth. Instead of dwelling on the pain and disappointment, we can use this experience to understand our own shortcomings, improve our communication and emotional intelligence skills, and work on becoming a better partner or friend in future relationships. Dealing with a project that didn't go as planned can also be seen as a chance to learn and improve. Rather than getting discouraged by the failure, we can seek feedback from colleagues or supervisors to understand what went wrong and identify areas for improvement. Furthermore, adopting the mindset of the obstacle is the way can also be applied to personal finance. If we find ourselves struggling with financial difficulties, instead of feeling defeated, we can use this as an opportunity to reassess our spending habits, create a budget, and develop effective financial management strategies. By viewing this obstacle as a way to improve our financial literacy and discipline, we can work towards achieving financial stability and success. To help us making this mindset shift, we can practice these three techniques. One, reframing. Instead of asking yourself, why is this happening to me? Try asking, what can I learn from this? And observe how it changes your perspective on the situation. Two, gratitude. It's not common for people to feel grateful when faced with hardships. However, if we actively search for things to be thankful for during difficult times, it can greatly impact our overall perception of the situation. By finding a silver lining, the rest of the circumstances may not appear as negative. 3. Consider history. It's always helpful to remember that countless individuals who came before us have faced and conquered similar, if not more challenging, obstacles. If they were able to overcome them, then it is certainly possible for us to do the same. Rule number 3. Understand that perceptions dictate reality. Epictetus once famously stated, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of things. Our perceptions truly shape our reality. The world doesn't appear identical to everyone. You and I have distinct perspectives on life, and how we perceive it will ultimately determine our experiences. For some individuals, life is a constant struggle a challenging battle against those who try to bring them down, a system that exploits them, and the ever-changing nature of the universe that seems to be against them. On the other hand, there are those who find life beautiful. They believe that the human condition allows us to create and appreciate beauty in others. They see inherent goodness in people and acknowledge how our culture has uplifted many from disease and poverty. To them, the universe is a realm of transformation and endless possibilities. Although both these individuals are observing the same world, they interpret it in vastly different ways. These disparities can be the deciding factors between suffering and peace, hope and despair, and love and hatred. Picture this. You're stuck in traffic with a friend. One of you sighs. What a waste of time. This always happens to me. The other grins and says, Fantastic! I now have extra time for my favorite podcast. Same traffic, yet their perspectives couldn't be more different. Why does this matter? Well, it's not the traffic jam itself that determines how we feel. It's how we interpret and react to it. Understanding this simple truth gives us control over our emotional responses. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Wayne Dyer. The power lies in realizing that we can shape our perceptions. It's like having a remote control for our outlook on life. By recognizing that we have the ability to choose how we see things, we gain agency over our overall experience. So, whether it's being stuck in traffic or facing life's challenges, 
it's all about perspective. Do we see obstacles as roadblocks or as opportunities for personal growth? Opting for a positive view actively shapes our experiences, making our journey through life more enjoyable and resilient in the face of twists and turns. Changing your perspective is easier than you may realize, and it can be done through three simple steps. One, start by being aware of your usual way of thinking. Take a moment to notice whether you tend to view things positively, negatively, or neutrally. This self-awareness is the first step towards making a conscious change. Two, next, challenge your thoughts. When a negative thought arises, Pause and ask yourself if it is based on facts or just your own interpretation. By questioning the validity of your thoughts, you open yourself up to reshaping them. 3. Embrace a new viewpoint through conscious effort. Imagine it as swapping one pair of glasses for another. It's about choosing how you want to perceive situations. With consistent practice, you can intentionally adopt a perspective that contributes to your well-being. These steps empower you to navigate life with greater emotional resilience. By understanding and adjusting your default responses, you gain control over your emotional landscape. It's a transformative journey that involves self-awareness, thoughtful reflection, and the intentional choice to see the world in a way that enhances your overall experience. Rule number four, practice daily reflection. Have you found a few quiet moments to reflect on your day recently? If not, you're not alone. Reflecting on our day might not be the norm these days, but the Stoics considered it essential. They believed that this practice creates a valuable feedback loop, enabling us to learn from the daily lessons and mistakes life throws our way. By setting aside time for this reflection, we open the door to numerous benefits. One significant advantage is the improvement of our decision-making skills. When we take a step back and evaluate our actions and choices, we gain valuable insights that contribute to more informed and thoughtful decisions in the future. Furthermore, this practice helps us align our behavior with the person we aspire to be. It serves as a compass, guiding us towards our desired self by making us more aware of the choices that bring us closer to or farther away from our goals and values. Additionally, engaging in this reflective process actively contributes to anxiety relief. By consciously processing our daily experiences, we prevent them from accumulating and causing undue stress. It's a proactive approach to mental well-being, allowing us to acknowledge, understand, and release the tensions that may arise throughout the day. So, taking a few minutes to reflect becomes not just a pause, but a powerful tool for personal growth, resilience, and peace of mind. Now, let's see the value of self-reflection. Every single day, we encounter a constant flow of choices, encounters, and emotions. If we don't take the time to process them, they can accumulate and result in stress, exhaustion, confusion, and even poor decision-making. Engaging in the habit of reflecting on our day provides us with a valuable tool, acting as a mental debrief, allowing us to ponder and comprehend the reasons behind our actions and emotions. It helps us determine whether our actions were in line with our values. If we're truly honest with ourselves, this practice can be a game-changer for personal growth, as we become more adept at recognizing our approach and reactions to various situations. As we continue to refine our reflective skills, we begin to witness our responses in real time, and this is where the true transformative power lies for many individuals. Imagine two individuals, let's call them Alex and Jamie. After a long day at work, Alex immediately dives into their evening routine trying to forget about the challenges faced throughout the day. On the contrary, Jamie chooses to spend 10 minutes in peaceful contemplation, reflecting on the events of the day, their own responses, and areas where they can improve. As time goes by, Jamie is expected to demonstrate superior emotional control and personal development compared to Alex, 
all thanks to the incredible strength of self-reflection. Now I will tell you four simple steps which you can follow for cultivating the daily habit of reflection. 1. Set aside time. A few minutes before bedtime or during a quick break can work wonders. The key here is consistency, as making reflection a daily ritual enhances its positive impact over time. 2. Ask questions. Pose questions like, what went well today? Or, how could I have approached things differently? As you progress in your reflective journey, delve deeper by asking why. This not only broadens your self-awareness, but also provides valuable insights into your actions and choices. 3. Write it down. Maintaining a journal becomes a tangible record of your thoughts and experiences. It serves not only as a reflective tool, but also as a valuable resource to track your personal growth and evolving perspectives over time. 4. Be honest, not harsh. Remember, the purpose is understanding, not judgment. Approach your thoughts and emotions with kindness and curiosity. This compassionate perspective transforms reflection into a positive and constructive process, allowing you to learn and grow without unnecessary self-criticism. Daily reflection holds a unique beauty in its ability to grow gradually. It doesn't always require earth-shattering revelations each day. Instead, it's about consistently gaining insights that contribute to profound personal growth. Think of it as an investment account, where regular contributions over time result in significant growth and expansion. In essence, Adopting Stoic principles provides a resilient framework for facing life's pressures. These timeless rules emphasize the importance of daily reflection, consistency, and a compassionate mindset. By incorporating these Stoic guidelines, individuals gain practical tools to fortify their resilience and enhance decision-making. The wisdom of Stoicism transcends challenges, offering a foundation for personal growth and a shield against the storms of life. Embracing these principles equips individuals to navigate adversity with strength, wisdom, and a steadfast commitment to inner tranquility, fostering a mindset that empowers them to thrive under pressure. If you find this video beneficial, consider liking this video and also subscribe for more stoic content. See you soon.